hello guys welcome to the third video micro cms v2 let's get started um okay this looks pretty similar to our previous challenge uh, micro cms v1 <coughs> okay and they say they have fixed the security flaws let's try to edit this page um okay we can let's go to the hints page uh so it says that uh on the regular result you can see the public pages so there are certain pages that uh, regular users uh, cannot see and you will need a perfect union and you will need to log in without knowing the password or without using the password so you know like when you try to log in the most obvious thing that you would like to do is try to see if you can inject in sql injection here so the most uh, obvious way to do that will be to put an apostrophe and try to see if you get any error and yes we got an error message so let me try to explain you this error message this is from main.py so this comes from uh you know some sort of python frameworks like uh, django or flex which are web frameworks to create a uh, web applications and then it's an sql error yes of course it's a mariadb sql database and then this is the uh, command which uh, crashed this application so how this works is after uh, we submit the uh, login form with username and password field that username is grabbed here and this percentage uh, s is replaced with the username two backward slashes are removed and then this uh, sql syntax gets executed so how do we exploit this uh, sql syntax as the hint says in other other solutions we're gonna uh, we're going to use a union sql syntax a union sql syntax combines the result of two different sql syntaxes so let me just copy this sql syntax okay so how we are going to exploit is let me remove this backward slashes so when you input something in the username field in the login form this is where it's going to go so and that is where we are uh, going to put our uh, sql payload so let me first uh, write in SQL payload and then I'll explain it to you. Union select something random is password. So I uh, I wrote this uh, apostrophe to close this apostrophe. So that will mean that this is one uh, SQL uh, syntax. So this is one SQL syntax and then this union is used to write an another syntax here so this another syntax so what this does is like it will simply return random or any other text that you put here it's an sql thing uh, and again there's one uh apostrophe here which is going to crash our applications uh we're going to write a hash to comment it out so that's like you know it's a comment in some other database you'll use a double hyphen in this case we're going to use a single hash so uh, this SQL syntax will return nothing because the username is an empty uh, and then uh, this SQL syntax this is going to return uh, a random text and union will combine two of these results so it will return random and then uh, we will provide the same text as we provide here in this case random in our password field in the logging form so when the application checks if uh, two of these uh, are same uh, it will let us uh, login in the application so let's copy this payload and then let's go back um, let's put this so we put this same thing here in a random and let's try to log in and um, ta we are logged in uh, let's go to the home Mm, okay we see a new page called private page let's try to see and ta -da, that is our first flag so let's see the second hint actions equal perform as a regular user on the last level which you can now so unlike uh, previous level uh, we need to uh, log in to be able to uh, edit this page so is there a way uh, we can uh, edit this page without logging in so let's log out first for that um, then i'm going to use uh, bob suite to demonstrate you how to do that if you don't know what bob suite is or how to configure bob suite with uh, your uh, web browser you can uh, uh, check them online uh, bob suite will uh, store all my proxies so let's first try to see if we can edit this page we cannot we have been redirected to a login page so let's see all our requests in the uh, bob suite so these are all the requests that i recently made 
so when I try to access uh, this thing uh, this site slash place as it is slash one with a get request I was redirected so there are mainly four requests get post port uh, put and delete get is to fetch something from a database post is you want to send something or write something in the database put is to update and delete is to delete something from the database so you remember right in this space and there were two fields with already filled contents those data were like uh were fetched from the database using this get request but you can also edit it right and then you can send it back you can update it back in the database so a post or a put will be used to do that so and we can send this request to repeater to edit this request so okay so let me send a post request and then tada that is our second flag <coughs> so for the third flag credentials are secret flags are secret that means our flag is stored alongside the credentials in the uh, database uh, i will be using sql map uh, for this SQL map is an automation tool to find out SQL vulnerabilities. So let me send a request. Just let me on turn my intercept. Um, okay, okay for this. So this is our, our login request. I'm going to save it. Is a request or txt and then the the save it okay so i will be using command to sql map r for a request file uh, dbs to exploit in databases we found and dump is to show all the details and 13 is to use all the resources to speed up our uh, process okay if you see here um, these are the four uh, tables in our databases these are username and password and this is our flag guys right. so yeah that's it for this video guys and to all my Netflix friends back home and living abroad I wish you a happy Dasay Tiar and Sat bye bye guys take care